Hey guys, in this video we're going to create our form to add an article to the database. So we're going to start off in the add article.pug file, which is in our views folder, and we're going to go right under the H1 and let's create a form. All right, so this form is going to, uh, let's see, it's going to have some attributes. So with pug, we need to use some parentheses. All right, so we want to set the method of the form and we're going to set that to post. All right, and then we're going to set the action to slash articles slash add. Okay, so we'll catch this on the other side in, in app.js uh, after, after we do this. So in the form, we're going to have, let's put a, a div with the ID of form group, which is a, a bootstrap class. We're going to be using bootstrap for the, uh, for the UI. And inside here, we'll have a label. So the label for the title. And then we'll have an input. And the input is going to have a class, so we can do dot uh, form control. All right. Now this is also going to have some attributes, so we need to open up some curly braces. And the name for this is going to be title, and the type is going to be text. So let's just try that out. We'll save it and reload, and there we go. So there's our title field. Um, now what we'll do is copy the form group. Let's go right under it on the same level. Whoops, I'll have to bring that back. And this is going to be for the author. Later on down the line, we may add authentication so we can log in and then have the user as the author. But for now, this is going to be very simple. Change that. Let's make sure that shows up. Good. Don't worry about how it looks now. I know it looks absolutely horrible, but we're going to be using Bootstrap. And then we're going to paste that in one more time. Okay, this is going to be the body and this is actually going to be a text area. So let's go ahead and change this to text area and we'll change the name to body. All right, we can get rid of the type as well. And then we need an, in, uh, an input button or a submit button. So let's say input and let's give this a class of BTN and BTN primary. Actually, we'll have to like that I think that's how we do it in pug if not we'll fix it and that's gonna have a type of submit it's gonna have a uh, value of submit so let's see what that gives us we'll reload and let me just make sure the markup is right for this yep so we have class BTN BTN primary all right so now that we have the form, we need to uh, we need to catch the the request. Okay, so we're submitting a post request to this right here, article slash add. So let's go back to app.js and let's go down where we have our routes and let's say add uh, add submit post route, I guess. And we'll say app. Now, since this is a post request, we need to do app.post. All right. And then the URL, which is going to be uh, slash articles slash add. Now, notice this is the same as this. And that's that's fine because these are two different types of requests. You can have it go to the same URL as long as it's a different request. So we'll say function. And again, this is going to take request and response. And then let's just do a console.log for now. And we'll just say submitted. And then let's just return. Okay, so we'll save that. Let's go over here and reload. And we'll just say test Brad test one. Submit. And then let's look at our console, not that. And you'll see submitted. Now the console log is, is going to show here. It's not going to show down here because this is the client. This is the server and we're submitting it to the server. All right, so let's get rid of this. And then what we want to do is we want to get these fields here and then ultimately we want to submit it to the database. So let's go and say 
uh, let's say let article equals and we have access to the model okay because we brought it in right here so we can say let article equals new article and then we want to assign the fields so let's say article dot title is equal to uh, actually you know what we need to add a module called body parser in order to get this because what we want to do is we want to say uh, request dot body dot title and if we try to console log um, actually let's just console log this and I'm just going to comment this out for a minute. All right, let's just see what that does. I uh, cannot read property title of undefined. So we can't even do it because it doesn't know what this is because we don't have the body parser installed. So we're going to go to our command line here and control C. We're going to stop it and then we're going to install body parser. So let's say npm install dash dash save. Uh, body parser. All right, and with Ex Express 3, back in Express 3, this was actually included. We didn't have to install it separately like this. Um, now we need to add some middleware for this. So let's run our server, NodeMon. And if we go to, let's say, body parser GitHub. And we go down here. Let's see, where is it? Right here. So we want these two lines. Or the yeah, this app.use. This is just the required middleware for body parser. So we're gonna go put this, let's say, right here. Paste that in. Uh, let's just say body parser middleware all right that's fine so let's save it now and go back and reload is the server running oh we, we need to bring it in because it doesn't know what this is right here so let's go up here and just like with the rest of these modules we're going to say body parser uh, is equal to require body dash parser. Okay, so now if we go and reload, that works. And if we go and we just type something in and submit, you can see that we're getting the title. Okay, so let's go back down and we can now uncomment these two and get rid of this. So that gets the title, puts it into this, and then we need the author. So request.body.author and the body request.body.body It's kind of weird. And then we should be able to save this. So we'll say article Yeah, should do article.save and then in here we get a function and then pass an error and then we're going to check for the error and if there is one we'll console.log it and uh, then we'll just return and if there is no error then what do we want to do so once we submit it we'll probably want to um, redirect back to the index page right so we can take the response we can say res uh, res dot redirect and we want to go back to slash so let's save that and let's give it a shot <laughs> oh it actually it actually already submitted because it reloaded um, all right <laughs> so let's go slash articles slash add and let's say article four, we'll say John Doe for the author, and then we'll say this is article four. Submit, and you can see it got added and then we redirected.
All right, and if we go to our Mongo shell here and we do a find, there we go. You can see we have this crap in here as well, but we'll get to deleting them. But before we get to deleting, I want to uh, make this look a little better. I'm getting sick of looking at this, honestly. So we'll implement Bootstrap. We're going to use something called Bower, which is a front end package manager. It's like NPM, but for the client side. Uh, so we'll install Bootstrap. We'll add some styling, we'll add a nav bar, and then we'll move on to editing and um, deleting articles and stuff like that.